My daughter Alex is headed to a get together tonight at her best friend Meg's house. I'm gonna make a dip for her to take with her. I decided on hot corn chili dip. Now I've just been grilling five ears of corn. Now I'll let that sit and cool for a minute. And I have a skillet that I've been warming and I'll add half a stick of butter. This is a luscious dip. So many flavors going on. And I love that you don't have to make it at the last minute. You can do it way earlier in the day. Okay, the butter's all melted. Now I'm gonna crank up the heat and I'll throw in some chopped onion. I've got some veggies and I wanna cook them over really high heat to get as much color on the outside as possible. And then two colors of bell pepper, green and red. And then I diced up a couple of fresh jalapenos. I split them open and took out the seeds and membranes because that's where all the really, really harsh spice is. And then just a couple of cloves of garlic that I minced really finely. Now I'll just stir this around. I'm gonna cook these for a few minutes just until they start getting a nice deep golden brown color. Meg has been Alex's best friend since they were really, really little. And this is very handy because Meg's mom, Hyacinth, and I have been best friends for a long time. All right, these veggies need a couple more minutes, so I'll just let those sit, and I'll slice the kernels of corn off the cobs. Okay, corn's all ready. Let me check on the veggies. They're starting to get nice, dark brown bits. Perfect. So I will turn off the heat and let them cool just a little bit in the pan. And while they cool, I'll mix up the base for the dip. It starts with mayonnaise. I'll add about a half a cup and then the same amount of sour cream. Now I have an eight ounce block of cream cheese. I made sure it was really soft so it would all mix together really easily. Now I'll throw the corn in because this is hot corn chili dip just kind of break them up when I add it. Oh, I love grilled corn. Okay, and then the peppers are cool enough to add. So I'll just throw those in. This is a really versatile dip too. You can use whatever kinds of peppers, onions, veggies you want. Okay, one more big spoonful. And then I'll stir this around. There are jalapenos in this, but since they cooked, they're nice and mild, so you just get the flavor. Now I'll let that sit for a minute and I'll grate up some cheese. I've got pepper jack cheese, but you can use just Monterey Jack or Cheddar Jack or just Cheddar. I like using Monterey Jack whenever I'm putting something in the oven because it melts really nicely. That should be good on the cheese. So I'll add most of this in. And now because this is corn chili dip, I'm adding two cans of diced green chilies, juice and all. Of course, you can roast your own chilies if you have them and if you have the time, but these canned ones are just delicious. I love them. I just have a couple more things to add. I've got some green onions and I'll just slice them up. They add big flavor to this dip. Just sprinkle those in and then a little bit of salt and pepper. If you wanted to kick this up a little bit, you could add some hot sauce, salsa, anything like that. Okay, the dip looks fantastic. Now it's time to get it into the baking dish. I've just got a regular eight inch square dish and I'll just pour it in. Okay, now to top it off, I'll just sprinkle on some extra pepper jack cheese. Now I'll just cover it with foil and it'll be all ready to go in the oven. Now I'm just gonna grab some chips to go with it. I made a hot corn dip and this needs to bake at 350 until it's hot and bubbly. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks for doing this. Oh, sure. I sort of threatened Alex that I was gonna join the party. She didn't look too happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Well, I delivered my daughter. I delivered the dip. I'd say my work here is done. Hey, guys. Are you hungry? Yes. yes. Oh, this, this is, is really what you've good. been waiting for. <laughs>